Hi guys, if you've got a polar scope on your mount, you will know how useful it is to help you with alignment at either the North or Celestial South Poles. However, it's also a bit of a pain in the neck, knees and back, having to get down onto the floor to look up through it. So I want to show you my little uh, adaptation, which uh, helps to make things a lot easier in my view. So what I do is I start off with a uh, right angle finder scope and this one is actually from Minolta. Um, it's a second hand one I bought on eBay for eight pounds. And this little bit on the front here is actually from a hardware store, uh, cost me 85p. And it's called an access plug, it's 32 mil in diameter or an inch and a quarter in old money. Um, and basically that comes as a uh, uh, a, a blanking plate um, with no hole in the bottom and the ad adaption here is about the same size as the push fit onto my um, poloscope. So what I did was got a uh, wood drill bit. This is a 19 mil, um, just fits easily in. I marked a cross on the back of the uh, adapter plate just to get the center and drilled straight through. And then using a Dremel or a multi-tool with a little sanding disc like this, I just use that to go around the inside. It's a bit rough in there, but, uh, but it does the job, that's for sure. And that uh, spinning around at high speed enlarged the diameter enough so that it's a nice snug fit on there. Okay, so the other thing you'll notice that is on the finder scope, there is actually a uh, connection to a camera eyepiece. Um, in fact, if I can just take this off, what it is, is basically a screw thread with the connection for, in this case, a Minolta camera. Um, so I managed to get, uh, by just grinding off with the same thing, I managed to grind out the, uh, um, the adapter for the eyepiece, and that left me with a locking ring, um, which will still fit on there quite nicely. And that meant that uh, I could then after I drill the hole, mount that through and fit the, the ring inside. And uh, this is the result. This is what it looks like fitted to the scope. And now instead of having to bend down, I've got a, uh, I just well, I have to bend down still, but only at 45 degrees, not at, uh, not right down underneath it. Hope you like it. Have a go. It cost me £8.85 in total, so a really cheap, um, way to improve your setups.